Welcome to The Cutting Edge, where we dive into advanced workflows for the toughest problems. Today, we're tackling the Z-Image Turbo Control Net. The original Z-Image Turbo model is a distillation masterpiece, offering incredible speed and quality, even with few steps. When the Alibaba Pi Fun team released the Z-Image Turbo Fun Control Net Union, it was a game changer for control, but its naive application can dramatically hurt the base model's distilled quality. The key issue is that the control net was likely trained on the turbo model without access to the base model architecture, meaning its full strength application across all steps partially breaks the distillation process. You could reduce the control net strength, but that sacrifices its control fidelity. You could also increase the steps to over 20 with higher CFG, but that defeats the purpose of the turbo speed. There is a better solution the Advanced Two-Step K Sampler Workflow. The solution is to use a two-step sampling process to keep strong control but maintain turbo speed and quality. We apply the control net at full strength for the initial steps to dictate the structural composition, and then we disable it for the last few steps, allowing the base turbo model to refine the details and restore the high-quality look. Instead of weakening the control net, we adjust the cutoff step. Let's walk through the advanced workflow. First, we load the required components which you can find links to in the guide and the exact JSON on Discord. The UNET model, Z-Image Turbo BF16, the CLIP model, QN34B, the VIA E AE from Flux, the Control Net Patch, Z-Image Turbo Fun Control Net Union. This is the initial version, added on six blocks, trained for 10,000 steps. We'll look at the 2.0 version, which is added on 15 layer blocks in a moment, we prepare our input. In this case, we use a source image and run it through the open pose preprocessor to generate a pose image, which gives us structural control. Our prompt is photo of a woman squatting in a heavy rain. We also connect a conditioning zero out node from the positive prompt to the negative conditioning inputs of all samplers. This is a powerful, fast, and simple way to apply negative prompting in this model. Next, we define our steps. We will use a total of eight steps, which is optimal for Z-Image Turbo. We will use 2K sampler advanced nodes to achieve the split. Step one, structural control with control net. Our first K sampler advanced node is connected to the QN image diff synth control net node, which has the control net patch applied. The total steps are set to eight. The end at step is set to four. This means the control net will be active for the first four steps. Crucially, the return with leftover noise setting is set to enable. This ensures the first step does not fully denoise. This step runs for the first four steps with the control net at full strength, locking in the pose and composition derived from our open pose image. The output is a latent image with strong structural fidelity. Step two, quality refinement with turbo distillation. The latent output from the first K sampler is passed to the latent image input of our second K sampler advanced node. This second sampler is connected to the model sampling aura flow node which has the control net removed. The total steps are still eight. The start at step is set to four. This sampler now runs for the remaining steps from step four through eight. By disabling the control net for the final steps, we allow the original highly distilled Z-Image Turbo model to finish the refinement, adding the high fidelity detail and photorealistic quality it is known for without the interference from the control net. The result is a perfect balance of strong structural control and high-speed, high-quality output. Comparing the workflows, the advanced workflow in the center and the original single-K sampler control net workflow at the bottom. When we use the image comparer node, we can clearly see the difference. The original control net workflow, using the control net for all eight steps, often introduces texture artifacts and degrades the photorealism. Our two-step approach gives us the control from the initial steps while maintaining the exceptional image quality of the Z-Image Turbo model in the final steps. Control Net 2.0 and beyond. The Z-Image Turbo Fun Control Net Union 2.0 is another model patch that is added on 15 layer blocks it was trained for a much longer 70,000 steps. You can swap this control net patch in for potentially even better structural control. The same two-step workflow principle of using the control net early and disabling it will still apply and is the recommended approach for maintaining quality. 
This workflow is the path to truly pro-level results, leveraging the speed of Z-Image Turbo while getting the structural precision of Control Net. Stop watching. Start creating. And that's the node, all open source, no filler. Thank you for watching. Grab the file, keep creating.